Generative AI is spreading everywhere, and just two weeks ago, OpenAI launched its new and even more powerful model, GPT-40. This is a great opportunity to look at the basics again, show you what an AI chatbot actually is, and how your business can benefit from it. So in this video, I'll show you three examples of AI chatbots that are live on websites right now, and we'll see what they can do. Each of these examples I'm about to show you is really live on the internet. So you can just go to the website and try it out for yourself. I'll put the links to them in the video description down below. And so without further ado, let's get started. The first example you can see right here is GLS Language School in Berlin. And as you can see right here, we have a chat bubble in the bottom right that even moves and already some suggestions and a an, uh, first speech bubble. Hey, glad you're here. Any questions? Send us a message. And so I could now either start the chat by choosing one of these options or clicking on the bubble. Let's click on this first. And so a welcome message appears in English with a convenient option to switch into German. And what happens very often is that you have some buttons here as well that suggest you some options. But here we don't have it, so let's just say we are language students and we want to enroll. So let's say, how can I, how can I enroll in your school? And it gives me the answer that I can enroll on the website and I can click here and it opens the link and the site where I can enroll. Uh, which is not probably where I want to go because this has really not a lot of additional information, but it took me somewhere at least. And so if I click here again, it continues and I can now ask more specifically, what types of courses do you offer? And it gives you a lot of details and now a link to the different courses they offer. I can also ask more specific things like when do your courses begin? Our intensive courses start every Monday. If you are a complete beginner, you can start on the first Monday of each month. Our evening course begins on the first Tuesday of each month. Yeah, that is some great information. Now let's say I'm interested in what activities or accommodation they offer. So let's see what they can do if I ask two things at once. You also notice that it uses answer streaming. So the answer gets filled in block by block as you would be seeing in ChatGPT. GLS offers accommodation both on and off campus for students. In addition to our German courses, we arrange extracurricular activities in Berlin. Feel free to join if you want to explore the city and engage in various activities. So here it managed to show only one link of the two, but at least this looks like it's the right one. And so you see, this is a very engaging way to find information and you can imagine uh, as this technology evolves and includes the newest technology, it only gets better. And we'll also see that happening with voice for sure, that you can literally chat and, and talk to a website. But that's just the first example. Let's move on to the second one, which is the IKEA bot. And for IKEA, this is not about customer acquisition, but about service. And so if you go to their service side, you also see this chat box here and you first need to accept some conditions. And it's actually called Billy, like the famous bookshelf from Ikea. And it even recognizes that I'm in Switzerland. And it doesn't actually use AI yet. That's interesting because Ikea started using these type of chatbots several years ago before AI was actually where it is right now. So I'm sure they will start using it. And for IKEA, this bot actually manages 47% of all customer queries 
and allowed IKEA to free up 8,500 employees already by last year. So probably it has gotten even more by now. And so let's take a look what this powerful bot can do. Let's say my Billy shelf is broken and it gives me some information about um, claim and return policy, which is exactly what I would want to have in this case. Let's say I have another question. Whoops, I mean a part is missing. And here again, it gives me exactly the right article that I would be looking for with the information I need. And then let's say, can I talk to a human if I want to talk to someone? And now, instead of just forwarding me directly, it wants to know what my issue is so it can forward me to the correct person. And so let's say we want to have help with delivery. And they're not available right now. So here it would have been nice to add a contact form, but uh, at least it still shows the potential here and the amount of work that such an AI chatbot can save for a large organization like IKEA, but also for a small one, because now they are available at low cost. And by adding AI, they can get even smarter than what IKEA is doing right here. Speaking of smaller companies, let's look at a third example, which is the Allegra Lodge Hotel in Zurich, Switzerland. And you see, as before with the language school, we have again here this chat bubble. You click on it. And uh, I actually had a previous conversation, so it opens that again. And here it helps with booking, a hotel overview. It has something about gaming and esports, gift cards and two language options. And I just tried another language, Chinese, which this particular AI doesn't know. But now let's see what happens if I want to know about gaming and esports. And so this particular hotel apparently has a game room only and some other specific offers. And I can now get uh, more details with these links here. Let's click on one of them. Yeah, and it just takes me to a specific gaming website. Or what I also have here is more information about the hotel. It just gives me a basic text and a link here. It would probably be a great idea to put in some pictures as well. Yeah, actually here you get it. And now you can directly go to booking, best prices, special offers. And we can see the available rooms. And actually this is very nice. Here in this chatbot you can even do further interactions like do a booking directly and we can let's let's say this is for yeah just today and see we have if they have available rooms and now it just takes me to the booking site right away for the right date and the right amount of people and so this is uh, really nice here you can also integrate other things like calendly for bookings or videos gifs or various other media types. And there you have it. These were three examples of AI chatbots that are live right now. Concretely, a language school, then IKEA, a big furniture retailer, and lastly, a hotel. And each of them will be able to save a lot of manual work and customer interactions with these type of AI assistants. And while they still have bugs, in each case, the customer will be able to talk to a real person and also these bugs and issues will get less and less as AI gets better with additional opportunities only evolving such as voice interaction and additional capabilities of these AI chatbots. Now, if you want to be an AI pioneer and use an AI chatbot with the latest GPT 4.0 technology for your own business, let me know and book a call with the Calendly link down below in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, you might also like to know about seven ways AI chatbots can help your business and you can watch it by clicking right here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.